Hello and welcome to WPLMS Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about the new gamification option in the WPLMS plugin update 1.6. So we have added this gamification option in the WPLMS plugin and it is quite different from the rest of the gamification options which were available earlier, including GamiPress and the MicRed. While the core difference is that the this is a JavaScript only bad system, which means that it will also work when in the progressive web app, when your app is offline and it will also work in the, in the Android and the iOS apps. So here the concept is pretty simple that these badges are site wide badges. Unlike the earlier inbuilt WPLMS badge system, which was course wise ba badge systems. So here the badge system works on points. The user gets point and when the points reach a particular level, the user will get the badge. For example, when the user gets 10 points, he is going to get this particular badge. When the user reaches a level of 20 points, then he, re then he gets this badge and so on. So now to get started with the badges, you have to enable the gamification option in the LMS settings. So when you enable this gamification option in the LMS settings and save this setting, you will see badge types and all badges in your LMS, uh, LMS tab and badge types and badges can only be created by the administrator of the site. So in the badge type screen, the user, the administrator will enter a name of the badge, a slug, a description, then the display order and the thumbnail. So display order is very necessary for badge type. Without a display order, the badge type will not appear in the badge archive. So, so this is the archive, which is LMS badge. So here for this demo, I have created three badge types, achievement badges, fun badges and hero badges. And when I go to the LMS all badges, you can see that all the badges I have created. So here you can see the badge type and the, and the badges. And here you can enter the title, a description then make sure you add the badge type. So this is where we do not recommend you to add a badge type because when you add the badge type from here, you have to go to the badge types and assign a image and the, and the display order of the badge type. Then the points on which the badge will be awarded to the user, then a subtitle and the feature image. So once you've configured all the badges, you have to, you can assign various actions on which the badges can be awarded. So we go to the course management screen, courses, manage courses. So we'll edit this particular course. And here you can see we have the quizzes and the sections. We go to the accessibility and here you will see the tab to enable. Here you will see the section to enable gamification for this particular course and you can enable gamification and you can assign what all points the user will get when she completes this particular unit. So here you can see we have assigned points for each of the units. And now we can simply publish this. So now once we have published this, we go to the enrolled courses. Now back in the enrolled courses, we will see that course and continue it. When we continue this course, so 
so here you can see we completed the unit and we got five points so the point notification will appear in like these green boxes and once we reach the badge you can see we get a nice little celebration and here you can see we got the badge and it appears right at the middle of the screen so once you have created the badges you need to go to the YBP settings and reload the body press navigation so that we can see a gamification sub tab in our WPLMS courses so here we go to the body press on reloading the body press navigation you will see a new item in your courses sub menu which is points and badges when you click on this points and badges it is going to load the all the activity which is related to the point awarding so here you can see that the user got five points for for this particular unit in the in this particular course so far and here you can see there are two badges which have been awarded which appear as colored and then there are badges which are yet to come they appear in the gray gray scale so here the user can simply sc scroll and view what all badges are yet to come so this adds in new flavor to the gamification option that we have in in the wplms that's it from wplms tutorials thanks for watching